Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> What's Peter's new accent? I don't know. Did you miss me? I missed you. And in fact, <clears throat> I know I say this a lot, but in all honesty, I was gonna take off today and not film any videos. I was like, you know what? I could take another day off and just watch TV shows and stuff, but Alex went to brunch with um, some girlfriends that he used to work with that were, well, one of them was here visiting from out of town and he doesn't work with the other three anymore. And so they all got together and had brunch. And then he was shopping for his new car because he really wants a, black Jeep Wrangler four door, but he had a soft top, now he wants a hard top. And so he went to one place and um, it was like way too expensive. And so he went to a couple other places anyway. He has been texting me, he's so excited. He got his Jeep and he will be home in probably about 30 minutes. Cause when he texted me, he said he'd be home in 34 minutes. And um, that was about four minutes ago. So he's on his way home with his new Jeep. So this will probably be a shorter vlog. When he gets home, um, unless I decide to get back on after he gets inside and rests and relax, I just fed Boo Radley. I cannot figure out Boo Radley's like eating at all. Like he was really into this chicken stew and so I bought like an entire box of this chicken stew stuff. But then I also bought this chicken pate because I thought well, we'll try this, right? It's like the, they're like those, it's not the brand Little Caesars, it's the brand it's the one that, the blue brand, and he really liked, the, I, so Alex has been warming up his food in the microwave, and so I cut it up into little pieces, and I put it on a plate and warmed it up the other day, and I put half the side with stew, and half the side was the pate. Well, he only ate the pate, he wouldn't eat the stew at all. I mean, literally ate it like that. So tonight, I put two things, a pate down there, warmed them up, cut them all up, and everything like that. He's been like, I can hear him down there, he's like licking the plate up, and then he runs upstairs and he's real excited, then he runs back down the basement and eats a little bit more. So, when Alex comes home, his like attention is focused completely on Alex, and if we're in like the bed, like watching TV, or Alex like on TikToks for hours, you know, and stuff, like he just lays in between us, and that's like his happy place, like Boo Radley loves just being in bed with the both of us. So when Alex comes home and Alex goes upstairs to the bedroom just to relax, because I'm sure he's been gone most of the day. He's been gone since like 10. I'm sure he'll be really tired. Right now it's about, I think it was like 20 till 5 when I came out here. So I'm sure Alex will be tired when he comes home. Because um, he stayed up late last night. Our sleep schedule last night was so crazy, so I'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, so I'm sure he'll probably go upstairs and go lay down. Well, Boo Rowley will be done eating at that point. As soon as Alex comes home, I go, do you guys have dogs like this? <laughs> like, as, it, it's so funny. Like, as soon as Alex comes home, like, Boo Rowley, his entire attention is on Alex. So as soon as Alex walks through the door, Boo Rowley will go upstairs and follow him to the bedroom. And then he'll just lay in bed and, and sleep and lick his paw. <laughs> he goes like this for hours next to... Um, and no, our vet's not worried about it for all the people that will leave comments and be like, you need to be really worried about that because our vet's not worried about it. Um, we used to think it was like a calming thing because he would uh, lick Tucker's back. And then people say it's about anxiety and other people say it's about deficiencies in this or whatever. Our vet said it's normal with older dogs as they get older. But anyway, so he'll just lay in bed. So if he doesn't eat now, <laughs> he won't eat when Alex comes home until like late at night when Alex is asleep and then I take him out and then he'll eat then. So I was like, okay, let's try to get him to eat this food. So he's eating this food right now. He's been eating it. So yeah, so I woke up today and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll take another day off. And I was like, well, Alex is gone, so I'm just gonna film some videos. I don't really have anything to do other than watch TV, but I can do that tonight. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll take Saturday or Sunday off. So I'm just gonna kind of play this weekend, um, you know, by when I get up to see, I may, I may take the next two days off completely, or I may film every day in the next two days. It just kind of depends. It also depends a lot on what Alex has going on. <clears throat> if Alex doesn't really have a lot of stuff going on, he's around the house and wants to watch movies, then I probably uh, won't film a whole lot. Maybe my vlog and nothing else, but we'll see. Maybe not even that. So we'll just see. Now, coming back on Monday, I will be filming every day going forward. So, so yeah. Uh, I mean, not every day I'll take a day off, you know, in January or something. But every day, you know, for the next week I'll be filming, I think. I shouldn't say that, should I? But anyway, I plan to. So last night, we had such a nice Thanksgiving. Did you guys have a good day yesterday if you celebrate Thanksgiving? We went over to 
I was like, I'm getting an Amazon package. I literally, on my Peter Does Stuff channel, this happens to me every single time. I literally just did an Amazon haul because I bought all these things on Christmas presents and things around the house. Oh, new pillow covers, which I haven't put out here yet. So the orange and white ones on. But did throw out my mom's and my pumpkins and the trash came and picked them up. So they're gone. But just so you guys know, there's always an orange wreath behind my head, but it distracts from the camera. So do you want to see where she sits while we... <laughs> there she is. Wreath Alicious. Fernalicious' dear sister, <laughs> less liked sister, is over there in the weeds. But anyway, it should distract me if I'm over there. And I put her behind my chair, but then every time I wobble my chair or move my chair around, it like catches in the chair and then you hear it. So yesterday we got up and, um, okay, so this was crazy. So Wednesday night, what do we do Wednesday night? I can't remember. But Wednesday night, I laid down at like 9 o'clock. Now my plan was... I was gonna watch a lot of shows. I was gonna lay down from like nine to 11, and I was gonna watch a lot of shows. I think nine to 11.30. I, say, I think I set my alarm for like 11.30 and 11.40. And I said to Alex, I said, what are you gonna do? And he goes, I'm literally just gonna lay here and look at TikToks. I don't care if I look for at TikToks for like six hours. He's now like, he was telling us this last night. He's like, all these different shows. I thought it was just like Friends, but it's like Will and Grace. I mean, all these different shows. He watches like an entire episode and this is his, why he does it. He goes, well, it cuts out all the crap that you don't need to see in a TV show. <laughs> like the in-between parts. So he'll literally watch an entire episode of his show and just watch like three minute segments on TikTok. <laughs> and Caroline goes, oh my God, I do the same thing. I was like, this is so weird. Why are you guys not just watching the shows? So he just puts his AirPods in because he knows I want to sleep. So he just lays, which is really sweet, right? So he just lays there and um, watches TikTok after TikTok and I'll be like falling asleep and he'll go <laughs> and he'll start laughing and then like Burelli puts his head up and I wake up and it's just so cozy. So Wednesday night, I lay down at like nine o'clock. I think it was earlier than that, honestly. Well, I woke up at like 11.30 because my alarm went off and Alex said, the first time the alarm went off, Alex was like, if you're not going to go to sleep, can you just turn the alarm off? And I was like, or he goes, if you're not going to get up, can you just turn the alarm off? And I was like, yeah. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to keep on sleeping until I get up and then I'll watch some shows. Because I thought, surely, and now call me Shirley, <laughs> going to bed at 8.30 or 9, there was no way I was going to sleep through the night, right? But the night before, I really hadn't slept a whole lot. And so, and like, I'm trying to go to sleep without the trousers on and if I don't have to, like when I'm tired, right? So I turned off my alarms and went back to sleep and I woke up at 4.30 in the morning wide awake, wide awake on Thanksgiving morning at 4.30. And I'm like, what time does the Macy's Day Parade come on? And I was like, I looked and said 8.30. And I was like, that's four hours away. And we were leaving here at 11.30. And I was like, by 11.30, I'm going to crash and burn. But I was not tired at all. And even I wasn't going to take the trazodome at that time because, I mean, I got a full night's sleep, you know? Um, so I was like, I'm not going to take the trazodome because that, that'll knock me out. And I'll be tired all day, you know? Because when, when it finally puts me to sleep, I'm like asleep asleep. And so I was like, I'm not taking the trials and I don't want to drink sleep time tea. So I was like, I'll just stay up until I can't. Like I'm not, I'm not sleep or I'm not tired, awake anymore. Can't say the word. And then I'll go back to sleep. So I was going to watch some shows and Caroline and I have been talking about the movie Home for the Holidays. I shared it with you guys with Holly Hunter and Robert Downey Jr. So I knew that it was for free on Apple TV. It's either for free on Apple TV or I own it, which is why it shows up for free. But I was like, I'm going to watch Home for the Holidays because I really wanted to watch it before. Two movies that like I always want to, well, I mean, obviously Christmas movies. There's tons of Christmas movies I want to watch, you know, for Halloween and, or for Christmas and then Halloween for Halloween. But like the Miss Firecracker Contest, I love to watch before the 4th of July, which is with Holly Hunter. Oh my God. And, um, uh, what do you call it? The, well, I just watched it yesterday. Why can't I just set it? Um, the movie with Holly Hunter Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Why can't I literally cannot think of the movie? I just said the movie title. I'm not rewinding it. I'll remember it in just a second. But anyway, um, the most important holiday. What's it called? <laughs> I'm having such a brain fart. <laughs> Home for the holidays, home for the holidays. So anyway, and it's with, oh my God. And I was like, for, I forgot who it was with. It's with Anne Bancroft, who is like one of my favorite actresses of life. And Charles uh, Darning and Holly Hunter, Robert Downey Jr. and Dilla uh, McDermott, who is in Steel Magnolias. He's been in tons of other stuff. So I sat out here, I made, I drank two cups of coffee and watched the whole thing. It is such a great movie. Like, you don't, like this would be such a great weekend to watch the movie because it takes place over like Thanksgiving weekend. 
I really like the day, Thanksgiving and the day after. It is such a great movie, you guys. And so what it's about is Holly Hunter is in, she lives in Chicago. She's got a sister that's older, or she's the oldest. So she's got a sister that's younger and a brother that's younger. And Robert Downey Jr. is her brother and he's gay. And he's with this guy named Jack, but he brings this guy home who is Dylan McDermott, who his name is Leo Fish. Well, she doesn't know who he is and she's pissed because she thinks he's left Jack for this guy. But nobody really wants, I kind of forgot how the sister was really homophobic in it. So she comes home, but her, her daughter Claire Danes, who's like planning on losing her virginity, like stays in Chicago to be with her boyfriend and his family. And she is like a curator in a mu museum that like redoes or like huge paintings. It's like, like Gre she's doing like a Greco at the beginning of it. And she gets fired. Holly Hunter. So she has no job and she goes home and it's just like, <laughs> there's just like this one scene when she's at the airport and her mom's like yelling at her through the back seat and she like looks over at the car next door and it's like this guy's like mom is like, and it's like they're both like 40, you know, and the guy's mom is like over the front seat and she's like this and he like looks at her and goes, <laughs> and they're like looking, it's so that, right? So then it's about her going home. I have to tell you, this is the thing, right? It's very romantic. It's very, I forgot about how romantic it was, but the other thing is this, is that it's really sad. I forgot how sad it was. Like, it's a really true movie. Like, I think my mom loved this movie, too. I, to be honest with you, I told Caroline last night, I said, I don't think maybe in 10 years I've watched but the first third of it. Because the first third of it's real funny. And then it kind of gets real sad. And, I mean, not, like, sad, sad. I mean, there's a lot of comedy in it and stuff. But there's just... It's a lot about getting older, or maybe it's that I'm watching in a different stage in my life or something, I don't know, but it's a lot about getting older and, like, missed opportunities and, I don't know, just, like, your parents getting older. I think that's part of, like, kind of why it hit me so hard, you know? Some of the things that Anne Bancroft said really remind me of my Aunt Kathy a lot. And um, there's this whole scene in there, it's fantastically written, where she's taking off her dress um, and Holly Hunter's in bed, and she's talking about, she was reading, like, she was at the B&B or something, or the grocery store, and she was reading that's something that somebody wrote to Dear Abby. Do you guys remember Dear Abby? My mom used to read all that stuff. And she, like, says, like, what she, like, is saying. It's really, like, what Holly Hunter thinks about her mom. And then she gets done, and she's looking in the mirror, smoking a cigarette, like, this full-length mirror, and Holly goes, what did, what did Abby say? And Anne Bancroft says, what, it, what the hell does Abby know about life anyway? That's not really the point. And then she walks out of the room. It's like really poignant. I mean, this movie is so fantastic. I'd forgotten how fantastic it was. And it was funny because I was talking to Caroline. Caroline was like, I watch it every year. I was like, do you remember? She was like, I remember all that, Peter. She goes, and it is funny. She goes, it's really funny. Because she goes, and that was totally our family. Because our family had so many. She goes, do you not remember, Peter? She goes, every holiday had like really depressing moments to it. And I was like, I guess. And she goes, you don't remember that? She was like, I mean, that was kind of like the joke was that it's like so sad. You have to laugh kind of thing. I was like, yeah, I do guess I kind of remember it that way. But I don't know. So I watched that yesterday morning. And then, um... I went to bed about 7, 7.30, and oh my God, it took me like an hour to fall asleep. I was like talking to Boo Radley, and oh, I took him out, and then I put him back into bed, gave him a little treat, we went to bed, and then I was talking to Boo Radley, and Alex was like, are you just coming to bed? I go, no, I got up at like five o'clock in the morning, I'm just like, I'm just watched a movie, and he goes, oh, okay. So, um, I went to bed, and I set my alarm for 10.30 to get up, and I ended up getting up at like 11.15. But Alex wasn't out of bed either. And I go, are you taking a shower? And he goes, yeah. And I go, okay, you need to get in the shower now because it's going to take me, you know, shorter time than you. Because he's got to do all stuff with his hair and stuff. So he took a shower. Then I took a shower. Then we got dressed. I tried to look. I put up a picture on my Instagram story. I think I'm going to put it up on my Instagram, my, my gram, gram, my post. But I tried to look a little bit nicer yesterday. I bought this sweater at Macy's. I think it was at Macy's like, a, like two years ago, three years ago. And the brand is Barber, B-A-R-B-O-U-R. It's like a ski brand, I think. Love this sweater. It's like blue and white. It's really cute. And, um, but this sweater has been like skin tight on me. I've never been able to fit it. Well, it was bag it's baggy on me now. So I wore it yesterday with these really dark navy jeans, my new shoes. I think I'm gonna get another pair of those shoes from Untamed Street because I'm wearing them a lot and I love them. Um, they're expensive, but I'm really getting my money's worth out of them and I love them. And I wore a white shirt, another white shirt with the collar out and sleeves out. I think that's my new thing. Caroline said it to me yesterday. She goes, are you going to do this for every outfit? And I go, I think this is kind of my new thing. The collar out, like button to the top and out, and then like the white sleeves out of the sweater. I think that's going to be my new thing. 
She goes, I like it. It looks cute. And I was like, thanks. Caroline looked real nice yesterday. Everybody looked really nice. Everybody was dressed up at both places that we went. So then we went to Alex's aunt's house, his aunt and uncle's. And it was his aunt and uncle. His uncle is like former like cook chef. So he like cooks the entire meals and um, really nice meal. And so it was Alex's aunt and uncle, his grandma and his cousin. And then his uncle's son, who's 34, I think he says 34, and his wife and their three daughters. And then Alex and I, Carlos, Liliana, and Carlitos and Sebastian. And it was fun. It was we had a really good time. We got there about noon, and we maybe a little bit after like five, ten afternoon, and then we stayed there till almost four. Like I think we left about three forty. We left when everybody else did. We stayed there till like three forty-five. Um, Alex's uncle's son and wife and daughters drove from out of town, stayed like a two-hour drive, and then Carlos and Liliana. I don't. His aunt and uncle were so tired anyway. His grandma was falling asleep and talking on the phone. They were like ready for us to go, I think, anyway. But it was such a fun time. We had such a nice time. They just beautiful spread of food. And they, one thing that's really nice is that like both families always think of me as a vegetarian. Like his uncle is so funny anyway. And so he's like, okay, Peter. He's like, now I made this for you. I made this like corn souffle for you. It's got no chicken stock. It's got no meat in it, whatever. He's like, then I made these mashed potatoes. Didn't use chicken. He's like, everything. He's like showing me like what he got and like, things I can have that are vegetarian. It's really nice, you know? And he gets excited about making it, too. So that was really, really fun. Carlos and Liliana had another dinner to go to with somebody that Liliana works with, and then that woman's son is also friends with Carl. Like, they play sports with Carl. He, her son plays sports with Carlitos or something like that. But they weren't going over there until 7.30. I was like, because they were driving next to us when we were going over to Caroline's. And I was like, I looked at Alex because Carlos looked like he was about to fall asleep. I go, I don't know. If I went home right now, there, because I almost was like, I mean, if Caroline hadn't gone to Central Links for Thanksgiving, I probably would have canceled. I was that tired. And I was like, I don't know how they're going to go home and then rest for three hours and go back. And I couldn't do it. You couldn't get me out of the house. <laughs> so we went to Caroline's. Caroline's was so nice. It was me and Alex, Caroline and Mike, her husband, her son David, his girlfriend came later because she was at her sister's house. And then um, Caroline's stepson and his wife came too. And it was just really, really nice. And, you know, fireplaces. And Caroline and Alex and I sat in the one room where they all watched football in the other room. We sat and talked for a long time. And um, so, yeah. So they were, like, rolling watching the football last night. So nobody really wanted to play games. So after dinner, we, like, stayed for, like, another like hour or two after dinner. We stayed till about 7.30. And I could just tell, I mean, literally Alex was falling asleep. Okay, Caroline's little dog, Mabel, is so, I took pictures and put her up on my Instagram story too. She is so sweet, you guys. She is so sweet. We were like trying to figure out last night like how many babies she's had because she was like, you know, it's so sad. Like, so Caroline rescued her and she was bred to, but she, Caroline rescued her from this um, rescue organization here in town that like has rescue dogs that are like bred but then like discarded like they either like take them to have euthanized or they get rid of them because they just want them for breeding that's it's so sad to me right so she's five years old Mabel's five and she's had like Caroline said that she thinks the they max them out at a certain number of breeds that they or litters that they can have but Caroline thinks she thought it was five but she thinks it's like six like six now and I was like, Caroline, she's had like 25, 30 babies. I mean, she's so sweet. She's so little. I mean, she looks like she's like six months old. And she's such a, she's so good. And she just like lays her. So I took all these pictures with her last night. Alex took pictures with her. She just is the sweetest dog. So we had a good time. But after dinner, I had a piece of pumpkin pie. And then I took some, took some leftovers home. Showed the leftovers on my review channel today. And did a leftover rating review over there. And, um, but we had a good time. Alex was so tired, and I was like, let's just go home. Because I knew if, like, they started a game, we'd be there for, like, another two hours, and they were still watching football. So, <laughs> so I was like, babe, are you ready to go? He's like, I'm so tired. So he went and warmed up the car. And then, um, and Caroline was ready to watch some TV and get in her pajamas anyway. So we got home about 7.45, and then I put all the food away, took Boo Radley out. Alex got him some dinner, and then, but, like, we're home, so Alex, won't, or Boo Radley won't eat. He ate, like, two bites of it, and I came upstairs. Yeah, and so I was like, Alex had this brunch today that he was going to with girlfriends, um, and then after that, he had told me he was going to maybe look for a car. He was like, maybe I'll drive down to Edinburgh and go to Abercrombie. I go, you're going to go to the outlet mall, because it's the outlet mall we used to do Black Friday shopping at. 
which was so weird because last night at like two o'clock in the morning, I was like, oh my God, I would have been Black Friday shopping in the other year, you know? And I said, I mean, we haven't gone in a couple years, but I said, you're going to drive all the way. I mean, it's an hour and 15 minute drive. I said, you're going to drive all the way to Edinburgh to go to Abercrombie and then come back. And he goes, yeah, because they might have some really good sales. And he goes, or would you want to go on Saturday? I go, I don't think I want to go on either one of those for really good sales to one store an hour and 15 minutes. Well, that's not worth it to me <laughs> to sit in the car that long now. So after brunch is when he started going to look for cars. So he's been doing that now for like four or five hours, but he had a good brunch. I sent me a little group picture of all of them together. And um, so last night when we came home, I said, are you going to go to bed? He goes, I'm getting into bed. I'm going to look at TikToks for a little bit and then I'm going to go to, I'm playing my game and then I'm going to go to sleep. And I said, cause he's like, I have this thing tomorrow and I want to get, I want to be rested. And I, Cause I want to go look at cars afterwards. And I said, okay. So I laid down probably by eight o'clock last night. And, um, cause I folded all my clothes, put my clothes away in the closet, all kind of stuff. What else did I do when I got home? I actually, to be honest with you, when I got when we got home, because it was set like 7.30. No, we left there at 7.30, so we got home about 10 till, maybe we left there at 7. Because I feel like we were home by 7.30. Well, anyway, it was still early, and I was like, I could vlog. I was like, no, just take the day off, Peter. Just enjoy the day. So, um, I went and got in bed and everything like that. Our Christmas bedding is so comfy, and that faux fur blanket that we have in there, Alex has it over the whole blank of the whole bed now. It's so nice. So, I was like... Okay, I'm just gonna rest and I'm gonna relax. And I fell like asleep like right away. And I woke up like a half an hour later. And Alex, oh, because Alex was turning off, he dropped his phone on the floor because he was plugging in his phone. By the way, I just wanna tell you if you're looking for Christmas presents, when I got my last phone at the Apple store, I got one of those. Alex doesn't want one. I don't know why. I love it. But I got one of those magnetic chargers. It's by Apple, but I think you can get them from a bunch of people. And you literally just like put your phone on it, like on the back of it, and just like sucks it in. It's like magnetic, you know? But like it charges it. And it charges so fast. And you don't have to be like hooking up your phone and stuff like that. I still have the phone cord in the kitchen, but like I told Alex, I said, he's like, well, because then I can have my cord plugged in and I can be like playing my. It's so easy, you guys. It is so fantastic. I love that charger. Um, they were, it was expensive. I think it was like $49 or $69.99 or something like that, but it totally worth it. I love it if you're looking for a good Christmas present. By the way, I said this on my review channel, or my Peter Dustin channel, but those candles I talked about on my review channel, I don't have them out here, but those Santa's Nature's candles, like I don't even have them lit in the house, and the whole house smells like them. And I haven't had them lit in like two days. So I went to bed last night about, it was about 8 o'clock, I think, 8.15. And then I like woke up like a half an hour later and Alex was going to sleep. He turned off the lights. I said, are you going to sleep so early? And he was like, yeah. He was like, I'm exhausted. And I was like, okay. And honest to God, I wanted to watch Survivor. I wanted to watch Amazing Race. R RuPaul's Drag Race Canada. RuPaul's Drag Race UK both came out. Was, I wanted, And I, this weekend, I really want to get started on Sister Wives and really get into Thousand Pound Sisters. So I was like, okay, I can't sleep all night long. But then I just was like, screw it. I'm not setting an alarm. If I sleep, I sleep. And I woke up at like 1.30 in the morning. I was like, bing, I was up. I was up. So of course I get up. And I thought Boo Radley would want to get up. But he didn't. He just like put, popped his little head up. I left the bedroom door open and everything so we could run up because we usually keep it closed. We're not asleep because it keeps the heat in the bedroom. And the air in the, in the, in the summer. But he didn't. He just laid there throughout the whole night. Like finally... When I was going to bed, he like got up and so I took him out last night before I went to finally went to sleep. But I got up at 1.30, I sat inside and I ate some leftovers and I ate some crackers and dips and stuff like that. And um, what did I watch when I was sitting in there? Oh, I watched RuPaul's Drag Race Canada. And then I started RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Then I went upstairs and brushed my teeth and I put on socks. Because I, I get tired of listening to my AirPods. So I put on socks and I put on my heated vest. And my This coat is, is warm, but like you would need like something heavier. Than just, I have just this Whitney Houston t-shirt on underneath that. You need like a hoodie or something. My Ugg coat that I've had for a couple years is really, really, uh, really warm. So I put my Ugg coat on with my heated vest, socks, boots. I've got my, see, I've got my Ugg boots on right here. My old ones, not my new ones. I haven't even broken out my new ones yet. I need to. Came out here, watched RuPaul's Drag Race UK, watched Survivor. Or did I watch you? No, I think I watched, after that I watched Survivor, and then I watched Amazing Race, and then I watched RuPaul's Drag Race UK, and then I feel like I watched something else. And then I went to bed. Yeah, and I got a good night's sleep last night. 
So, now I'm just relaxing. And we're gonna watch some TV tonight. I really wanna watch movies. I don't know if I wanna watch movies tonight, because I kind of feel I'm kind of in a TV show watch moving, or m mood to watch TV. I think I'm like I'm wanting to get something bad to eat again, because I'm gonna try to start to eat healthier next week and walk. Pizza kind of sounds good tonight. Pizza, but like a salad sounds really good too, like a pizza and a salad. And I don't love, like, I love Donato's, but I don't like their salads. And Pizza Hut has horrible salads. Jets has fantastic salads. But I also don't want to, like, order a salad from, like, Maggiano's. Oh my god, you guys, I went on Maggiano's the other night to order Maggiano's. And I started ordering stuff. They had like four pastas that you could order from. That was it. Like, I don't know if it was because they were doing a bunch of catering for Thanksgiving or something. But they had like, they didn't have like their whole thing. They didn't have all their appetizers, all that kind of stuff. They had two salads. They had like four pastas. And it was like sausage rigatoni or something. Or hamburger rigatoni. It was like, I mean, it was obviously I couldn't eat it because I'm a vegetarian. But it was like nothing. And they took off their, um, their garlic bread off of there. And they put, like, it's a different kind of garlic bread. It's, like, flat. It's, like, we went in there and we had it. It's not good. And I asked her about it. She's like, oh, yeah, we took it off there. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about something. It won't be. Now I'm upset because I got that uh, district tap. Oh, I was just thinking about Top Golf. Top Golf has really great, like, but it's kind of far away. And it's not too far, but, like, they have really good, like, appetizers and stuff like that. I don't know. I'll figure out something. I'll figure out something. Every place is going to be packed tonight because it's the Friday after Thanksgiving. So, cheers to the Friday after Thanksgiving. Did you guys go Black Friday shopping today? Okay, one of these days I need to make a concerted effort. So, I told Alex I would just do all the Christmas shopping this year except for like his mom and stuff. And he's gonna do Carlos and Liliana. I'm gonna do the. And he's gonna do Carlos, Liliana, Carlitos. I'm doing. So we like split the the list up. But anyway, I am gonna order all my stuff online because I just think it'll be easier, and I want to get it done now. I already ordered Sebastian's. I already ordered Alex's cousin, and they both came. And then I ordered a friend of mine's, and it came. And something for Caroline came. And something for somebody else came. I can't say who, but they don't even watch my videos. But, um, so yeah, so I need to get online and, but I mean, the stuff that I got, like the stuff I got for Caroline was just like little stuff. So I gotta figure, I gotta figure out what to get her, what to get Tanya. So the planning of the trips is really what Alex and I are giving to each other this year. Um, I'll probably get him like one nice thing or like a gift card or something like that. I'm thinking like a gift card because he loves like, ASOS and Urban Outfitters and stuff. So I'm thinking like a gift card or something like that, but um, I mean, we schedule a couple trips and so the trips are gonna be like our gifts to each other, you know, for Christmas. That was kind of something we planned a couple years ago. We're like, if we want bags or nice things or shoes or whatever, we just buy them for ourselves and we can afford them. And the other stuff, like we still do that for each other every once in a while. He bought me a Versace bag for my birthday. It's bright green it's beautiful but other than that like we do colognes and stuff but if we're gonna schedule trips we were like let's start I and mean, we still do buy nice things for each other but i mean we used to really go all out and, we're, and alex was like like we have these friends of ours this couple they are constantly traveling i mean into like really unique places which we kind of go to the same places over and over again but that's what we like so alex is like let's just instead like let's spend our money on trips and traveling and saving money so that we can get a place in you know arizona or florida one day or redo our condo so that's what we've been doing um but it's kind of depressing to be like here's 500 dollars for christmas we're putting in savings for the redo because you don't know you know like so i'll get him something i always say like oh no the trips are present and then like a down to the day before christmas i'm like oh my god i get it but i can't think i mean i don't drive now so i can't like just be running up the street you know unless somebody takes me um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to get on this year. I mean, that's the other thing. We both have everything that we want, you know, and Boo Radley's healthy, thank God, right now. I'm healthy. Alex is healthy. Our families are healthy. Alex is grandma, 93. 93, still dancing, having a glass of wine, talking to people in Venezuela last night on her computer. She's having a blast last night, you know, I think. What a life. 93 years old, you know? So... 
So we're very, very blessed. It's just not a lot in the world that I want or that I need, you know? And I feel thankful for that. Battery stopped. I actually did think of something that I wanted for Christmas the other day, and I was like, gonna tell Alex, but it was like something so it was like something I saw and I was like, this is so silly. I, I think what he's gonna get me is a travel fan because he keeps on seeing this TikTok for his travel fan. But the thing is you have to charge it in the computer. You can't plug it in. And I really want a fan that you can plug in because then it'll go all night long. A lot of those travel flames fans, I don't want to have my computer set up right next to my I mean it's too much, right? So you charge it and it has so much, you know, but it won't go eight, nine hours. They say they do, but they don't, I've heard. <clears throat> so I don't know. If you guys know a travel fan that has a plug that you don't charge on your computer, let me know, put it in the comment section below. Diet Coke tastes so good. So good! Well, it's been like almost 31 minutes. I kind of thought he'd be coming down the street by now. So yeah, tonight I'm going to watch some shows. I'm almost caught up with everything, except for 90 Day Fiance. That's the one thing I'm not caught up, and I've got to get up, caught up on that today and tomorrow, because a new episode comes out by Sunday. And like I said, on, I, I've either got to get caught up or stop watching it, and I want to get caught up. So I'm going to watch that. There's some like true crime documentaries that I want to watch, too. I hear a car coming. Is that him? I have a true, couple true crime documentaries that I want to watch. I have some movies, like The Haunting in Venice. Oh, that's what I was going to say. If Alex wants to watch movies... I don't know. I don't think he has plans tomorrow night. I mean, most of the people that we know, like our friends, like Tanya, like, you know, well, one of her brothers lives here in town. The other brother lives uh, out of town, but, like, he's in town visiting. And a lot of people that I know, like, their, um, their families are still in town through the whole weekend or friends or whatever, you know, that, like, moved away or back. So a lot of people are doing stuff with friends and family, which obviously they should, right? So not a lot of people are, like, home to like go out or go out to dinner and do stuff. So I don't think he's doing anything the whole weekend. So we'll probably just hang out here and watch movies and stuff like that. I might, depending on like how I feel. I mean, if I feel like I'm just like, don't have anything to do, I'll probably obviously film videos. Like this is how it started today. Cause I was like, well, maybe I'll just take today off. Then I was like, well, you can film like a Peterisms in a vlog. And then I filmed an hour, a 50 minute dra drama video and then a review video and then a, or Peter does stuff video and then, cause I wanted to open the Amazon packages and then a review video and, and never miss an opportunity to open an Amazon package. So I was like, you know what? I was like, Alex is gone. So why not? And I had a good time doing it and it was fun. and. You know, I feel like I was somewhat productive today. Oh, I also want to listen to my Christmas Cozy Mystery. I want to finish that. I'm going to powerhouse through that Jacqueline Frost book this weekend. Make some hot cocoa. Well, I'm more of a hot coffee person these days. I used to, like, hot chocolate sounds so romantic, doesn't it? Like, not romantical, like, the SEX, but, like, just it sounds, like, cozy and fun and all that kind of stuff. But the reality is, did I have that light on up there? No, not yet. But the idea is, like, like, we had hot chocolate at the event that we went to the other night, and we were waiting for our car, because it was, like, valley parking. They brought uh, hot chocolate out on, like, in, like, these Christmas paper cups with, like, a silver tray. That was cool. But, like, I like a cup of hot chocolate like I like eggnog, no alcohol, maybe once or twice a year. Back in the day when I was a kid, I loved hot chocolate. I don't love it that much anymore. I like it, but, like, I am like into the coffees and I found these coffees that I have in my garage. Oh my God, you guys, I bought them like last year. They're called crazy cups or something. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I came over to see Alex's wheels and also shut him on. He's not here yet. I know, how do you doing? Do you want to be in the vlog? Uh, can I blow my nose? <laughs> Hold on, let me just finish it. <laughs> Alex's friend Sarah walked all the way over here. Can I show the pups? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll sign off here. She came over here to see Alex's new car, so. Well, hi, honey. How are you? I got an old Haggard here. Oh, Callie. I'm a little 14 hi, year old. Oh, sweetheart. She's the same age as Boo Radley. Mm -hmm. And then look who it is. Hi. It's Mama Sarah. Well, let me sign off. Oh my then. gosh. You want to sign off with me? Yeah, are we doing the thumbnail? Say something wise to everybody. No, this is not funny. This is my vlog. Oh. Say something wise. Um, 
wise. Take care of your health. That's always Take good. Take care of your health. Um, that's why I'm out here walking and snotting. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. That's um, a long walk. It is a long walk. Well, thank well, you. Well, it's supposed to snow. Um, it's supposed to snow? Yeah, it's supposed to snow. Oh my god, your hat so is like, so cute. Look at that pug, pug mom. Pug mom. I felt really lame with his stroller, but... Look at this. Know. This is not the sweetest thing. Yeah, Hi, honey. Her out, her old and how old is Indy? Indy's... 14 months. Okay, so Callie. It's 14. This is when Sarah moved to California. Yeah. And Indy is when she moved back to Indianapolis. So, all right, you guys. Well, I'm going to get off here now because Alex is going to be home any second. Say bye, see the Sarah. Win. Love happy you guys. I'll see Happy holidays. Marilyn Jean's office. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.